Welcome back, Van here. Today we're gonna to be reviewing this from Harbor Freight, this Krause and Becker electric paint sprayer. How to get the best performance and extend the life of your sprayer is strain the paint before use, clean immediately after using, flush all components thoroughly, be sure to flush the primer tube completely. So I asked the guy at Harbor Freight, I said, how do these things hold up? He said, they hold up good as long as you use water-based paint. And I said, well, good, I'm using latex. He says, oh, no, no, don't use latex. That's not water-based. And I said, I'm pretty sure latex is water-based paint. So on here on the side, it says it's got four nozzles, two of them for latex paints and two of them uh, one with extended tip, cylinder assembly, household use only. Let's dig in here and see what we got. So, as we open the box, get this out of here. Let's see here. So, see what the instruction says. I'll be right back. All right, right off the bat, I see something that's not a very good sign. It says, notice, clean immediately. Clean the spray gun immediately after every use in between coats and when it will be idle for more than five minutes, delayed or inadequate clean will permanently clog the spray gun. Wow. So the contents that comes with this is a cleaning tip. It's a needle, long needle. Uh, it comes with two nozzles or spray tips. Uh, another spray tip right here on this extended, this you can bend into whatever you need. It's an extended uh, nozzle. And here's a wrench to tighten that nozzle up. So taking this thing apart and looking right here, you can see that this is not the best made. These holes over here are clogged up, or actually uh, not even formed, really. And then these holes over here are bigger. So what do you do with that? You lubricate in this hole right here. Some lubricating oil. So when you go pick one of these up, go ahead and get you some. I've actually got some. Okay, I'll disassemble this. I'll take the wrench. Take your nozzle tip off. I still don't know which nozzle tip is the uh, one for latex and the one that's not. And you want to take and remove this guard. All this comes out. The instruction says that all this is one piece. Do not disassemble. It seems like you should be able to get this atomizer out or a nozzle tip out and clean it, but apparently you can't. Uh, it says take a brush that's sold separately and clean it. Use the needle if need be. And when you're done, uh, oil it right here. To get this ready for the first use, it says you want to get warm soapy water and run it through the unit one time. And that gets all the lubricants and protectants off of the parts that was made to keep it from whatever during shipping and storing and all that good stuff so so there we go let me show you something that i noticed it says don't get this wet the body of the sprayer but when i took this gasket out it goes like this it's wet all up in here so that means paint's going to get all up in here so there's no way that you can't get this wet while cleaning it. So next we're going to clean all this up, dry it, add some oil to this hole right here where the piston's at. You wanna work that piston back and forth. It says that this is one piece, not to take it apart. I don't see how in the world you're ever gonna get this thing to work right if you don't get to take it all the way apart. Just apply some one drop of oil in there. Work it back and forth. Product recommendations for water-based paint and varnishes is 20 to 25 seconds viscosity with this. So what I have here is 25% water, 75% paint. I'm gonna dip this in there. I'm 
You pick it up. It's 43 seconds. So we need to add some more water. Great measurements, huh? Down to 28 seconds. Pretty close. Alrighty then, let's see what she does. Lots of overspray. Wow. Okay, lots and lots and lots of overspray. Oh my God. Uh. Uh. Lots of overspray. amount of paint and it says to go back and wash everything fill it back up and start over again so that's what i'm going to do and try it again by that time everything should be dried and ready for another coat so far i'm impressed but let's see what happens the second time around all right i'm back i'm back with a full load and i'm fixing to paint these walls so I've already taken it outside and I've checked the spray pattern. I've lubed everything up. I filled it with the same viscosity of paint that they calculated they need to be used in this right here. But what I noticed whenever I was cleaning this was you can't clean this without getting water inside here or inside here. You've got Let's finish up this pegboard, guys and gals. God, I am so excited. I'm so excited. Woo! I'm gonna have to come back and clean my windows with some paint thinner, mineral spirits or something. <laughs> Well, I don't think I missed anything. Uh, just a little uh, recap before I get onto this next wall is that, whoo, god dang, there's a lot of overspray. I wish I was using oil based paint. I'd be high right now. Uh, I'm going to have a lot of doors I've got to paint in the house. So stay tuned for future videos. Uh, of how this does after it's been sitting up for a while and I think I'm about, I don't know why I feel like I'm low on paint already. What? I'm out of paint already? What? That was faster than the first time. No, I'm not out of paint. Why'd you quit spraying, you SO? You know what? God dang it. Did you just hear that it's struggling and then it broke loose and what the world? What in the world? I think I'm good. <sighs> I get so frustrated with things. Yeah. 
That's a lot better than what I had. Wow. I think I'm just going to pull the trigger again. Where you can't hear me talk. This is annoying loud. Oh my God. All right. I have got overspray on every golly bum on everything I've got in here. Everything's got overspray on it. Wow. Golly bum. Look at there. You know what? I can, see it. I can see it on camera, but I couldn't see it with my eyes. Let's use the camera to scan the room. Oh, I still got it up there. What is that? Is that like a shadow or something? Still on there, but it's painted. Let's go clean this thing up and put it up, oil it, get it ready for the next time that we have to uh, use to spray some doors. See how it works. I'm really impressed, except for just a minute ago, when uh, it acted like it wasn't spraying, like it was empty, and I'm not impressed with how much paint I've got on my face right now. So, <laughs> I feel it. I feel the paint on my face. I see the paint on everything. Take a look at the window. Look at that. Right here on the side of the window. I'm gonna have to clean that. Time's ticking, it says five minutes, no longer, with paint sitting in it. Uh, let's go clean it out.